there are two types of dreams. One type is the chalomot shav, is the dreams that are completely, completely fake. There's nothing there. It's just a bunch of nonsense. And then there's also the type of dreams that are the real dreams. Now, what does it mean, real dreams? It means that there's a message in that dream. It's not just a vision. It's not something to keep you occupied while you're sleeping. So a lot of people think that when I sleep, I have dreams. It's, you know, in the morning I have Netflix, and at night I have dreams. So the dreams, in one way, can be false. It's true. The opinion in the Talmud that says that the dreams are false, it's true, because a lot of them are false. And the opinion in the Talmud that says that the dreams are real, that's also true. But there are two types of dreams. Now, a lot of it about dreams you can find in the Talmud in Tracted Brachot, specifically in page uh, 52, 53, 54. But nevertheless, it says there in the Tracted Brachot that there's a story once that the Kaysar, there was a Caesar, a Roman Caesar, and he told the Rabbi Yoshua ben Hanania, who was one of the greatest Tanaim, who was a, known as a very wise individual, and he told him, you know, you Jews are very, very smart. And I want you to tell me, what am I going to dream tonight? So how do you get out of that? I'm going to know how, what you're going to dream tonight. How can I know what you're going to dream tonight? So Rabbi Hanania told, me, told him, you know what? I will tell you what you're going to dream tonight. And he starts telling him a whole dream how the Persians, because then at the time, the Romans and the Persians, they were the, the rivals. I mean, nothing really changed. You know, also now, the, I mean, the Romans, we think they are Italians, but Romi in the Drushim is referring to Edom, to uh, America. So even now, the Persians in America have issues. But nevertheless, even then, so the Caesar was asking, uh, what will he see in the dream? So he told him, the Persians are going to conquer your land, and they're going to uh, uh, slave you. And I see you with a, even though you're going to be a slave, you're going to still walk with a, with a gold staff, a gold stick. And anyways, sure enough, he goes home, and at night he dreams about it. And he dreams about everything, how the, the Persians, the Persian uh, the country, they conquered them, they made him a slave, and he was uh, uh, still walking, but walking with a golden staff. And of course he was saying, how did, uh, how did the Rabbi Yehoshua know? Well, the Jews are probably all, the Met are so uh, smart. So how did he know what he's going to dream? It's because when he told him that, he told him what was connected to him. His fears that the Persian, uh, Persians are going to conquer him, that he's going to become a slave. He still told him that he's walking with a golden staff, meaning he's a king. So he was telling him things that is relating to him. So the result was that that's what he was thinking all day long. So at night, that's what he was dreaming about. And uh, there are many stories like that. And the conclusion is that whatever I'm thinking of during the day, that's what's going to be in my mind. That's what I'm going to dream at at night. So if during the day I'm very, very worried about how I'm going to pay my mortgage, and uh, whatever about a certain relationship or how much I want to get married or whatever it is, whatever my mind is occupied all day long, then most likely that's what's going to be the theme of most of my dreams. <laughs>